The red triangle is constructed using the midpoints and a vertex of an equilateral triangle. What fraction of the triangle is red? We'll start by finding the area of the large triangle. Let's let S be the triangle's side length, which is also the length of its base. Then we'll let the height of the triangle be H, so we can say the area of the equilateral triangle is 1 half times S times H. A mid-segment of a triangle is always half the length of the unconnected side, so we can say the length of this mid-segment is S over 2. Additionally, because this is an equilateral triangle, the mid-segment of the triangle also splits the height in half, so the height of the top green triangle is H over 2. The mid-segment is also parallel to the base of the triangle, so we can shift the bottom part of the height to represent the height of the bottom blue triangle. Now that we have the base and height of both the green and blue triangles, let's find the areas of both. The area of the green triangle is 1 half times S over 2 times H over 2, and the area of the blue triangle is 1 half times S times H over 2. Now let's add those together. First, we'll multiply out each side, giving us SH over 8 plus SH over 4. Multiplying the numerator and denominator of the blue area by 2 gives us 2SH over 8, so their sum is 3SH over 8. Next, we'll find the proportion of the areas of the blue and green triangles to the total area of the triangle. So we'll divide 3SH over 8 by 1 half SH. The SHs cancel out, then flipping the bottom fraction and multiplying by 2 gives us 6 over 8, which can be simplified to 3 over 4. So the green and the blue triangles are 3 quarters the area of the large triangle, which means the fraction filled by the red triangle must be 1 fourth.